Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Life with Klikai. You may have noticed that we've changed our YouTube channel name to Life with Klikai from My Alaskan Klikai. And before I start this video, I just want to give you guys a quick explanation for that. So we decided to have the same name across all the different sh channels and social media platforms. So if you guys find us on YouTube, for example, and want to find us on Instagram, you know where to reach us. So we decided that we'd switch the name up and we've gone with Life of Klikai because I think that is probably the best way to describe our lives because these guys definitely dictate and dominate everything we do. So hopefully if you guys are interested in following us on anywhere else, we won't be hard to find anymore. So just look up Life of Klikai and you'll get us. Now I've loved all the comments and feedback that I've been getting on the YouTube channel and we've also got quite a few questions on Instagram from people who have found us on YouTube and have gone over to Instagram and asked us a question. And one of the things that we've been asked a couple of times and as most as recent and as most recently as last week is what is the difference between a Klikai and a Pomsky? Now, before I start going into the differences between Pomsky and Alaskan Klikai, I should point out that I am not a breeder. I am just an owner of Alaskan Klikai. So I obviously have a preference for Alaskan Klikai as I own two of them. Having said that, I love looking at Pomskis on Instagram. I have nothing personally against Pomskis. So hopefully in this video, what I will be discussing is just pure facts. So if you have a Pomsky and come across this video, then please don't take it as a slight on Pomskis. I am just discussing the differences between Alaskan Klikai and Pomskis, and that's based upon the facts and the research that I have done. So the first thing to say when it comes to the differences between Alaskan Klikai and Pomsky is that Alaskan Klikai are a purebred dog. So they are pure breed. They're recognized by the United Kennel Club since 1997. So if you find the Alaskan Klikai breeder, preferably one of the ones that is on the Alaskan Klikai Association of America's website, then you can be rest assured knowing that you are buying a purebred dog. That means that the parents were registered with the United Kennel Club and they have the relevant registration information and that you know that your puppy has come from those parents. The Pomsky is not a pure breed dog. Now the Pomsky is a combination of a Siberian Husky and a Pomeranian. And while though the parents of the Pomsky may have been registered with the AK AKC or the UKC as purebred dogs. That doesn't, mis that doesn't mean that the offspring are purebred dogs. A Pomsky is a mixed dog. So that is probably the biggest difference between Alaskan Klikai and a Pomsky. Alaskan Klikai are purebred, Pomsky are not. Okay, so secondly, during my research on Alaskan Klikai and Pomsky for my website, Hello Bark, I found out that the Alaskan Klikai Association of America have a code of ethics. Now the code, of, the code of ethics are designed to hold breeders accountable for their breeding practices. Pomskis, however, even though there is a Pomsky Association of America, it looked like it was quite outdated. I couldn't find any proof that had been updated recently. And although there was a code of ethics, when I contacted the Pomsky Association of America, I never got a response. And they only had a limited amount of breeders that were on there. And I don't think the amount of breeders that are on their website is really reflective of how many breeders there are in America. So one reason why I would probably go for an Alaskan Klikai over a Pomsky is that at least when you buy an Alaskan Klikai, you know that you're getting a puppy from a breeder who's been held accountable for what they're doing. Now, obviously, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that I've touched upon that there are three colors for Alaskan Klikai and three sizes. We got black and white, which is sky, and we got red and white, which is copper, and then we got gray and white. Now, copper and sky are both toy Alaskan Klikai, and they also come in standard and miniature. Pomskis, however, can come in any range of colors, can come in any range of sizes. And it kind of goes back to the fact that they're not a breed. So there is no breed standard. So breeders aren't breeding to try and get the dogs to conform to the breed standard, if that makes sense. So basically a Pomsky could be any color or any size, while an Alaskan Klikai has to be a certain color and a certain size. And that is reflective of the breed standard, which the United Kennel Club lay out on their website. So you can check that out. Anyone can check that out. Now, another thing to consider is obviously price. When it comes to dogs that are unique, unique looking or quite rare, like the Alaskan Klikai, or like a mixed dog, like the Pomsky, you can expect to pay quite a substantial amount. Now, an Alaskan Klikai will cost between $1,500 and $3,000. And if you see an Alaskan Klikai advertised for less than that, or more than that, you should be very, very careful because it's probably a scam. That is the usual price range. And I think even on the organization's website, they list 1,500 to 3,000 as the expected price range of these dogs. 
But as Pomskis aren't a breed and they don't have a breed standard and their organization, like I said, I've struggled to find any information on there or get any feedback from them. There's like a wide range for how much you can be charged. And that means that you could be paying a lot of money for a dog that might not even be a mix between a Siberian Husky and a Pomeranian. It could be something else. So I would just say that there's a lot more potential to be scammed if you're buying a Pomsky. So like I touched upon already, one of the big things really is that nobody wants to be scammed. And of course we all love our dogs and I love every single dog. And regardless of whether it's purebred or it's a mix or it's a rescue, dogs are just great animals and they just they just all should be loved. You don't want to give money to a scammer because that just means they're going to continue on and scam other people. Regardless of whether you're buying a Klikai or a Pomsky, I never recommend buying a dog online from a pet store or a third party dealer. You should always ask to see the puppy interact with its mother and its father that make sure the puppy indeed was bred by the breeder who is selling you the dog or the person selling you the dog. But if you just want to be safe and make sure that you're not being scammed, the easiest thing to do is just go on to the Alaskan Kikai's website and check out the breeders that they have there. So that's all for me today. I hope that has provided a little bit more information on Alaskan Kikai and Pomskis. And if you have any comments or feedback, then please do write below in the comments. You can check out Copper and Sky across all our social media platforms now, Life with Klikai. I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more footage of Copper and Sky.